<laughs> well, no, to be honest, in the end, we shouldn't be letting bad first, even first leaders in there without a badge. It's a convention area, and you should be having your badge in convention areas. I mean, that's, you know, that's the rule, so. The only exception to badge access was the rule you have to see. Yeah. Video room. Uh, Scirocco, I'll let you go ahead. Hi, I'm Morgane, for those of you who don't know me. Um, you missed me, by the way, Trappa. I'm the art jam lead. That's okay, I'll forgive you this time. Just don't forget next year or I'll mark you down. <laughs> <laughs> um, we have that as an event. <laughs> Trappa hunting. I am more than happy to. Give me a nerf gun and paint a big old bullseye on his head. <laughs> um, I have to commend the staff for doing an absolutely phenomenal job with security. I've been running around with my sketchbook. Um, pardon me. I've been running around with my sketchbook bag and stuff, and when I went to the art show, they checked my bags. And being an artist, I know that kind of security is like way good. And I've had people, you know, looking at my badge. Um, war was on the dealer's door, checking the authenticity of the little sticker on the badges. And, you know, the presence of security, it wasn't too overly done, but it was just enough to know that security was there. And I think you guys did an absolutely phenomenal job in security this year. I'm the art show lead. Security was pretty wonderful for us. They let us handle our own security at art show. Uh -huh. One of the things that was suggested last year's feedback was that we didn't have a badge check. And I hope that everybody has found our enhanced security this year in art show with badge checking in the adult section as well as bag checking. Met everybody's wishes and what we wanted in expectations. And we did it. Hands up for those who felt it was good. Mm -hmm. Good? Uh, we're going to take just two more questions for security before we move on. So, uh, you and me. Okay, it's super again, but uh, I really I just want to add to what he was saying about people going into areas that weren't belonging. And I was sitting at the, the bar drinking a beer, and uh, the two people that were sitting next to me, not with the convention, were saying that we're going to go back in, we're going to mingle in the dance area again tonight. That meant that they had done it the night before. We uh, maintained as much control over access to the dance as we could, but there was multiple doors that people could get into at times. We were understaffed because we had other things that we had to call people away to deal with. Incidents that may occur and certain calls we had to go and respond. But we did try to keep as much attention on the access to the dance as possible. And I think we did a pretty good job of that. Um, I had a comment about uh, the security staff. Um, a person had come up to me um, because I was interviewing, interviewing someone at the time. And uh, press is considered iffy, but uh, at best, I, I recognize that. Um, I want to commend his friendliness. He was very friendly, he was very professional. Uh, he did not give me any sort of hard time. He was doing his job. He just thought, can I see your badge? Do you have approval? And he was checking. That's the good thing. The bad thing is, probably should have let the security staff know that there was at least one member of the press here. Um, I don't know if that was done, but he was not aware of it. Uh, but again, like I said, he was very professional and very friendly, and I was very happy to deal with him when he came up to me. Um, I'm glad to hear that. Uh, I'll just let you know, you are the only member of press that we allowed. We had at least eight people contact me. Um, and I made an executive decision to not allow any other press to the event. Uh, hands up for those who feel that public press should be allowed at the event, even if they've had a thorough examination from our staff and made approval. Should or should? Uh, was your question? Well, I, I don't consider him public press. He writes for fans, fan magazines, conventions, stuff like that. I think public press has like the news and things like that. Um, and it's really difficult to get, but we do at Califer and other events have big investigation. We have people who just look around and read all the other stuff that this person's read and whether it's positive or negative, <coughs> report to us and then we make a decision. Um, 
I know this is going to raise a lot of questions, so I'm going to have to cut the questions off on this because it's not really on our schedule. But I just sort of wanted to get a general idea, a general feel of whether you think no press whatsoever, none, 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 or as long as you've done your background check, let's go ahead and let them in. So those who think that no press whatsoever, none. Okay, so that's a bit of a Uh, I'm just going to change the, the order of events, although you guys don't know the order, so it's not like it's going to be here. We're going to move on, move on to Art Show and Dealers. So for, for next up is Art Show, and oh, and if you have, um, if you wave down Loyal here, he'll give you a, a survey. We have more copies of the survey out here. Please return those to the front when you're done. Okay, so next up, next topic up is Art Show, and uh, comments or complaints about Art Show. Uh, raise your hand. Uh, this is Drake again. Um, I just want to say about the art show. It was a little confusing seeing the uh, the sign the sign sheets on each of the art pieces, and then saying something about the there'd be the voice bidding. Uh, I wasn't sure about what, how that was going to take place until it was, I actually came down here and heard it starting. Um, I don't know if it was in the program or not, but I didn't understand how that was going to work, and I didn't know it was going to be like a normal auction. Um, was there some other signs saying that when it was going to take place? Uh, the voice auction was in the program guide. It was also, um, if you were bidding, it was in the bidder's rules that were still by the forms that you were filling out. Um, we hope to, to, we can definitely make it more visible next year what that is. Most cons do their voice auction, what they do is they do a set number of bids and then they send pieces to voice auction to, to limit, you know, not having to print off 700 bid sheets so that it can just keep going all day long. Um, and also voice auctions tend to, to help the artists get the, the prices up. Does that answer your question? Okay, thank you. One thing that was brought up to me about our show is uh, some, several people were disappointed that they didn't have the opportunity on Sunday to make a last bid because it closed Saturday and they were hoping to get one last shot at it. That comes down to time constraints for us. We, we really need to get the uh, show closed, get stuff taken care of. For those who don't know, this is my first time running an art show here. We planned it so that we could make sure that it was as, as successful as possible for everyone. We also closed it late Sunday night after Dealer's Den had closed, specifically so that anybody could come over that was in Dealer's Den and do their final bids. Um, we were very specific about that. Um, we wanted to make it where dealers could make final bids as well. Versus if we do closing on Sunday while dealers den is open, we basically excluded all of you dealers. I don't know if there are any dealers in the room from being able to make final bids unless you abandon your table. Our goal was to make it as successful for everybody as possible, as well as allowing us to control the art show and the art auction. And I would also like to give a compliment to our chair who uh, stepped up and was the auctioneer for the art show. As a last minute, uh, let's take a look I'm a dealer and I didn't make it to the art show. Can you close it like maybe an hour after? Because I was like finalizing some stuff and I take have to take time packing. I like I had my computer set up and that takes a good ten minutes to shut down. Yeah, we can look at that for next year. I'll definitely give that as the feedback. We want what we were trying to do was not push it up against the guest of honor dinner too much so that our staff could attend the guest of honor dinner. I can actually can you maybe um, have a time before it opens just for dealers? Or something like the VIPs and the dealers and stuff? We're, we're, we can't do it specifically for dealers, but we, we, can, look at, we can look at seeing opening it early. The, one of the things we were doing was keeping the dealers den and the art show opening as close together as possible so the hotel doesn't have to make multiple trips to unlock the worst price. Okay. So and we can definitely look at seeing keeping it longer open for next year. And can I make a comment about the dealers room? Since I have the mic, <laughs> um, it would be nice if maybe I understand that you probably are a little bit understaffed in everything, and I understand because I staff other cons. But um, it would be nice if you maybe could get somebody to come into the dealer's room and take orders for food. Like, okay, I'm going here, here, and here. What do you want? Give me money. I'll, you know, we'll make some change. I really like that idea. 
Because I, like today, I was about not to eat. Um, <laughs> how many of you here uh, noticed that we didn't have a hospitality? Raise